My name's Nick Goldschmidt, I'm the winemaker for Goldschmidt Vineyards, and I'm going to talk about my definition for red wine style and red wine complexity. If we think about red wine style, we think about warm fruit characters and cool fruit. So high in warm fruit, in my mind, would be like strawberry, uh, loganberry, as we, I'm talking about as we get cooler, cherry, blueberry, red cherry, and then we use a term walnut, which is often associated with Zinfandel and Petit Sarah and things like that. Black cherry. And then finally we get down to black currant. Black currants is probably the, the most horrible, greenest, herbaceous fruit you can ever imagine. The other thing that we, and, and sorry, if you're thinking about Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir sort of tends to fit typically in this blueberry, red cherry sort of sort of realm, that would be say Pinot. But if we're thinking about Merlot, Merlot is going to be more blueberry, maybe a little bit of walnut, and then Cabernet is going to be a little bit more black fruit, maybe going into the blue fruit a little bit. So uh, I hope that makes sense in terms of style of Pinot Noir, Merlot, and Cabernet. Okay, that's cool. That that talks about fruit, but what we're all also interested in is the mouthfeel and the two terms that we use are the structure of the wine and the texture of the wine. And the way I describe that is if this is your tongue and a wine comes in your mouth, things that make a wine structural, uh, acid, the temperature that you serve the wine at, obviously with white wine we, we serve that cooler and that's going to make that wine tighter. Carbon dioxide, there's always a little bit of carbon dioxide left, left in wine. And then wood. Obviously, a lot of these red wines are aged in barrels. If we think about textural wines, they're wines that come in your mouth kind of broad and finish kind of broad. So textural wine sort of looks like that on the tongue. And the things that make a wine more textural are pH, malolactic, always in red wine, alcohol, which is trying to make the wine uh, fuller and richer, and then fruit. So these four things are trying to make the wine broader, and these four things are trying to make the wine tighter. Now on a red wine, we're more interested in the textural side of the business. In a white wine, we're more interested in the structural side of the business, generally. So if I was to draw on this chart a Cabernet, it's going to be fairly highly textural. It's going to stylistically sort of be in this realm here. So back down into the blackberry fruit, and fairly highly textural. Merlot would fit Maybe not quite as textural, I want to have a little bit more structure in Merlot, and I certainly don't want that wine to be as cold in terms of black fruit as I would with Cabernet. So hopefully that makes sense.